Um, so we are Collective 42 and uh, our collaboration was essentially a bunch of questions about the life, the universe and everything. Hence the group name, Collective 42. As some of you may know, this is from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy where there's an all-knowing computer whose answer to life, the universe and everything was the number 42. So we thought we should start with that since our entire collaboration was based on questions. Um, I made it in time, that's crazy. Um, I think it was not, wasn't played. But yeah. Was. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so my name is Smriti and this is a series called Old City Cave. And uh, I've always felt like we have a sense of romance with the past that we don't allow ourselves in the present. And I wanted to do that with the series where I was looking at the present and looking at my own mindscape, but kind of using the style of um, uh, older Indian art, pre-colonial art and miniature paintings. And I played a bunch of digital pieces, which are, are essentially that. We are definitely going beyond 30 seconds. Oh, should, no, I, I'm not sure why it stopped playing. Should be like this, right? Yeah. Um, the series is called The Log. It's a graphic series in which I have uh, the, the essentially graphic series which I've painted on. And um, I'm looking at the body as a record of a, uh, of a record of a life, evidence of our past and testimony to who we are and what we hold secret. An internal landscape that talks about the absent, the invisible and things outside that reside in us. Um, this is Full House, No Joker. I've created a deck of playing cards that have, uh, but the structure that we need to play any game has changed. The set has two kings and two queens, of, uh, two kings of hearts and two queens of diamonds, etc. So uh, what we consider as um, an essential part of hierarchy is changed and gender is changed. Um, this is bee pod and there are, set, there, there are installations which are created to house bees and their honey, uh, but essentially you can't take the honey out. And uh, I'm fascinated by nature that we can't access and that exists as nature for nature's sake, like art for art's sake, and is beyond um, the limits of being useful. Um, System is Fortune is a graphic art series that's based on Indian goddesses and feminist mythology. And creating this artwork has been this process of unearthing and rewilding the image of the woman. Uh, it's fun and whimsical in style, and, I, and by that I hope to question our idea of sanctity and uh, our culture of worship. Uh, I, on, the, on my website, you'll be able to see my collaborations and shows and residencies that have come out of these series. And one of the collaborations was with uh, the Ritu Kumar label for, my, for the System is Fortune series and the publisher Telka. Okay. Hi everyone. Um, I'm Kat. I'm an international artist and self-taught maker based in Bradford in the UK. Um, I mainly create like kinetic sound and media sculptures, installations and experiences that enable audiences to step inside of worlds of another scale. And I use like STEM processes and wave phenomena like light, sound, liquids and gases to create living artworks that move and breathe as seen in the natural world. Um, and this is a piece that I made and yeah it's a kinetic sculpture about wave particle duality and I made this with a team of like scientists and mathematicians and makers as well and you could go to the next slide okay and yeah this is another piece um, this is a film piece that I made in 2018 called the abyssal glow and I made this in collaboration with a sound artist and we created like an immersive installation where again, people could kind of step inside of a bubble world. Ah, oh, here we go, let me listen for a little bit. So these are like microscopic, well, macro, microscopic videos of bubble landscapes, but using like scientific macro lenses. And in 2019, I left my full-time job to pursue my ambition of doing my first international art and science residency and exhibition at the Asia Culture Centre in South Korea. And here I created my most ambitious kinetic artwork to date, which is 
Inner Horizons and that also explored the question, what would it sound and feel like to be inside of a bubble? And in this work, audiences can step inside of a bubble, bubble landscape similar to their first experiences of the world submerged in the womb. And this work is made up of a dome tank full of glycerin oil and a bespoke multi-channel bubble system below it. So over the past few years, like sound has been an integral part of my installations. So I plan to experiment with making like a sound bubble installation next. And since this fellowship, I have realized like the importance of play in my practice. And I plan to technically upscale in like 3D modeling, coding and sound, more sound-based softwares after this. So over to you, Jens. Well, thanks. Okay. So Jens is my name. Uh, I'm a Berlin-based um, me media artist. My works evolve around uh, new media and technology and how they change our perception and our ideals. Reality Glasses, for example, is a short film about virtual realities that was uh, visible through a self-made video headset. The Ego Tunnel is an autonomous computer installation. This uh, newly configured system is only able to observe itself through a webcam and reproduces the image of itself in endless repetition. It describes the self as a uh, self-illusion created by human beings. The pulpit plays uh, with the subtile attraction of privileged spaces. The microphone, which hangs out from the ruptured body of this cardboard sculpture, is an offer to the viewers to express themselves and make their voice heard. Virtual materialism is an interactive video installation. Up to four recipients are imitated and confronted with a virtual recreation of themselves. The figures speak to the viewer and recite an acoustic text collage from The Imaginary, a book by Jean-Paul Sartre. Here I reconstructed, oops, ah, other, other slides, this, this one is right, okay. Um, once more. Here I reconstructed uh, the Hanover Art Association as a virtual environment, which could be uh, entered through a video game card machine. The sculptures in there were responsive and interactive and in a constantly deforming appearance. This virtual surrounding is uh, the stage for a form process generation which viewers put in motion with their presence. Three-dimensional structures develop in relation to the subject point of view and the, pres uh, the perspective of the recipients. Um, so our, our uh, collaboration uh, was heavily de dependent on technology. Our identity limited to what we brought to the window and we saw of each other and we brought our, our interests and questions and our art. And the thing that was clear right away was how different we were and the things we wanted and what we thought was important. Uh, the mirror board helped us through our disparity, our varied ideas, skills, and what, and what we could bring to the table and help us imagine a landscape with all three of us in it, a collage of identities and the worlds we come from and the journey of all that to the final artwork. Uh, we established a structure that we could count on through this process. So despite living in different cultures, we soon understood the ideas and the ideologies each of us stood for and what made us human. And we had many questions about life, the universe and everything. And our main question was, will artificial intelligence be the answer? So we decided to explore our curiosity about the future through voices of the past and using the search engine as a framework to ask the big questions about the meaning of life and where AI fits into these conversations. Uh, we used animated thinkers uh, of the past and through, uh, through their faces and voices, explore ourselves as individuals and uh, insert ourselves into the landscape. Uh, we used questions as chapters for uh, uh, questions. Sorry, I missed my thing completely. 
But okay, um, we all became actors in this piece, uh, bringing soundscapes and visuals from us, uh, from our lives into the story. It was now not limited to what the minds from the past had to say, but now they were saying it in the context of our lives. And that's what happened when we put it within this framework. All right. Um, we are, will be showing a short version of this film, three minutes more or less, but you can see the longer version in the project page. Please wait patiently while your question is calculated. Humans are a species which tends to make all things around them quite complex. That is why they have trained philosophers to break down the circumstances of life to an understandable level. This is just to say that the answers are already around. And in their core, they are of compelling simplicity if you're interested and you read them correctly. Man is the only creature that consumes without producing. If you want to keep a secret, you must also hide it from yourself. If you can feel that staying human is worthwhile, even when it can't have any result whatsoever, you've beaten them. As human beings, our greatness lies not in being able to remake the world. Our greatness lies in being able to remake ourselves. Do you mean if humans can live in peace? Well, that's a tough nut to crack. Let me think about it. Fight for the things that you care about, but do it in a way that will lead others to join you. If we are to have peace on Earth, our loyalties must transcend our race, our tribe, our class, and our nation. And this means we must develop a world perspective. War to my mind is the outcome of overgrown materialism, of an ideal based on self-interest, not based on harmony. Peace or the lack of it lies in the difference of capital and labor. Yeah, it was just um, an idea I had. There could be a thought so convincing, so logic, so powerful that you would just... Just kneel down and obey to this idea that stands there like a pillar of metaphysical law. Act only according to that maxim whereby you can, at the same time, will that it should become a universal law. Because of the unchallenged potential of their minds, humans have to regulate themselves. Only then they can develop a sustainable balance as a live form. Reality, no matter how utopian, seems to be something people need to frequently take a holiday from. A biased mind cannot grasp reality. Truth is the result of an enlightened mind, whereas suffering is caused by a distorted one. Oh, guess what? I did enough machine learning to know that much. Physical reality houses all people, regardless of whether they reject it or accept it. It's time to choose. Time to choose. Well, yeah, that was it. Thanks for your attention. Any last words, anyone? Um, I was just going to say, if you want to watch the full version of the film, because that was just a snippet, mm. um, you can go to the Be Fantastic website and watch the full film there. Thank you. Yeah.